Hi everybody, it's Andy here, welcoming you to this video all about the start of Unit 43, which is Social Media for Business. Now, this unit is all about the way that businesses use social media, that is Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, etc., to promote themselves and gain new customers, and how that trend has grown massively in recent years. So, as you can see, I've got the relevant Padlet open here. You can see the usual list of uh, learning outcomes here, over on the left, uh, for the first assignment of the unit anyway. You've got the unit spec, of course, and some other useful resources which I'll come to in a second. But before we look at those in more detail, I just wanted to show you a uh, Prezi presentation that I've made, uh, so you know where all this is going over the next few weeks, and not just what you're doing today, but uh, how this unit is going to pan out in the long term. So I'll just open that Prezi up and we'll have a look at that. So here's the Prezi opened up for the whole of Unit 43 Social Media for Business and uh, as you can see it's represented by this this road and if you look way in the distance the end is visible there, the light is visible at the end of the tunnel, the end over there. But there's a certain amount of things to do before we get there. So, learning outcome one in this unit is explain the range of social media surfers, services that are available. And this is the first assignment, uh, which starts with P1. And what you have to do for that is, you must fully explore the wide range of social media services that are available, their purpose, and giving examples. You can use examples based on your own familiarity with some social media sites, but your evidence must not be restricted to the services that you use. It must also include your understanding and research for other services. Uh, so this is all about social media services that are out there. And at this point, it's not actually about how businesses use them in the first assignment. It's all about uh, how individuals use them as a background then to build on in the later assignments where we then start thinking about how businesses use them. So remember that as you go through this one, that it's just about how individuals use them. And to start this one off, a good way to do it is to try and answer the following question, really, which may seem simple, but might not be when you actually try and put something down on paper. And that question is, what is social media? It's easy enough to give examples of social media. So the answer to this question isn't Facebook, Twitter, whatever. They're just examples of, of social media. But actually, what is it? So start off by thinking, having a good think about that and coming up with your own, uh, uh, your own version of what you think the answer to that question is. Having done that, you must then describe at least four social media sites that you are familiar with and use quite often because you'll need to give good examples of these. Uh, it could be Facebook, uh, YouTube, Twitter, Tumblr, uh, Reddit, um, things like that. Um, and These are four that you use yourself. And then four that you have never used or have hardly used. So there's very two very separate sections to this. And the first one, you'll be giving, you'll be giving lots of examples, uh, screenshots or even video evidence of you actually using uh, these social media sites. Then the four that you've never used or hardly used, of course, you're not going to be able to do that, so that will just be research-based and find out as much as you can about them yourself. And that's the pass in the first assignment. He's just describing, at the, end of the, at the end of the assignment, eight social media sites, four you're familiar with, four that you're not. Uh, there should then be plenty of time for you to have a go at the merit in this assignment and uh, as a, a first uh, a first step to getting the merit in the whole assignment. And that is, explain the opportunities that have been provided by social media. Again, it's, remember, at this point, it's just individuals. We're not talking about businesses yet. And you could extend P1. Uh, the, so if you've talked about Facebook, what opportunities has Facebook given to people? Other than just talking to their friends and so on, maybe uh, it's increased their employment opportunities or it's increased their creativity or something like that. Uh, so in this, in, for M1, you must identify the changes to social activity and opportunities that social media has created to the individual, again, remember, at this stage only. So still with LO1, but the distinction criteria that's available in this learning outcome and in this first assignment is all about the risks. So the opposite, really, of the merit criteria. Uh, if you're on social media, there are lots of opportunities that it's created, but there are also risks as well. Uh, particularly, uh, there's been a lot in the news about exposure to criticism via Twitter, for example, and 
an apathy just um why have a real group of friends when you can have a uh, a bigger group of friends on facebook but are they really friends and again this could be an extension to the first two tasks and you must identify a, a wide range of risks to individuals remember this is distinction by this point so it needs to be very good uh, work showing a, a depth of understanding and how they were generated by the rapid application of social media um, for example there are a lot of a lot of evidence that social media has uh, led to uh, a rise in mental illness amongst young people because it's impossible to get away from. Now, once you've done the first assignment, uh, you'll be on to the second assignment, which will give you LO2. I'm not going to go through it in massive detail in this prezi, but in the second assignment of the unit, you must research and describe the ways in which modern businesses and organizations use social media and give examples. So that's the that's what's taking it forward in the second assignment, is you then start talking not about how individuals use social media, but how businesses do. And the final assignment, learning outcome three, the benefits, again, to an organization, to businesses of using social media. So not so much about them uh, in this slideshow, but uh, that's where this whole unit is going. Start off, with, notice, talking about individuals and works businesses into it as the assignments go on. And that will be the end. And you will be finished for uh, the entire two years. This is the final unit of the six that I've taught you, and that will be the end. So have a look at the unit spec, uh, the Prezi again, uh, the assignment brief itself, uh, the example work that you've got here on Padlet, and even this video again until you feel really ready to make a start on assignment one. Give it your best shot and produce the best work that you possibly can at the highest grade you can, and of course all of that in time for the deadline. And all of that information is in the assignment brief there about deadlines and, and more information about the assignment. So thanks for watching this introductory video to Unit 43, Social Media for Business. I hope it's been useful and I'll see you on the next video.